Toxic people are everywhere, at work, home, school, amidst our friends, families, neighbors, and even in religious gatherings. Their toxicity manifests in different ways. Some are full of interpersonal issues, and they are needy and disrespectful. They try to manipulate and control people and are critical of themselves and other people. Others, on the other hand, may be going through an awkward stage in their lives. They may be ill, chronically worried, or lacking what they need in terms of love and emotional support. Although such people need to be listened to and given support, it is crucial to protect yourself from their negativity while at it. Rodolfo Pion, a Mexican entrepreneur, said, We all have these toxic people around us that make our lives miserable. The day we take them out from our lives, we will all become better people, including them. End of quote. Whichever class of toxic people you have around you, it's important to know how to deal with them so that you can stay sane and healthy. In this video, I'll share with you ways to deal with toxic people. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Set boundaries. When it comes to setting boundaries, many shoot themselves in the leg. They think that because they are working on living with someone, they have no way to control the chaos. Well, this is far from the truth. Setting boundaries means finding a way to rise above toxic people so that their behaviors become predictable and easier to understand. The implication is that it helps you to reason about when and where you have to put up with them and when you don't. The truth is that toxic people only have the power to upset you if you let them bother you. Even if you find yourself in a situation where you can't distance yourself physically, you always have the power to distance yourself emotionally. That's what it means to set boundaries. Anton St. Martin, an inspirational speaker and author said, how you choose to feel today should not be dependent on others. Setting boundaries involves deciding what you will and won't tolerate, and you have to ensure that you communicate these boundaries clearly and stick to them. For instance, say you don't mind listening to your co-workers' dramatic stories, but draw a line between verbal abuse and gossip. It is important to make this evident to them. Whenever they move the discussion in that direction, you can excuse yourself from the room, pull out your headset, or clearly state it that you don't want to be involved in such a conversation. 2. Limit your time with toxic people. In situations where setting boundaries aren't working out, then you might need to limit the time you spend with them. If they regularly pick fights with you or repeatedly push your boundaries, consider scaling back the amount of time you spend with them. Distance yourself from them. Avoid investing too much time or effort with toxic people. Keep interactions brief and topics light. If you can, make yourself unavailable to them. You see, toxic people are manipulative, so it will help if you are careful around them so that they don't make you do the things you don't want to do. They are in the habit of trying to control others, which is why if your boundaries aren't working, make yourself unavailable. If you are never available to them, they'll stop trying to get into your space at some point. It might be challenging at first because they are controllers, but it's not impossible to achieve, even if you live together. You can always make up excuses not to be around them from time to time. Quit trying to beat them at their own game. Distance yourself from them emotionally and approach your interactions like they are a science project. 3. Offer compassion. But don't try to fix toxic people. People can change as long as they are willing to do so. For people that you care about, you might want to help them instead of shutting them off altogether. However, while you can offer compassion to them, you cannot change them if they are unwilling, so don't try to fix them. While you might understand that in some cases, toxic people are genuinely distressed, depressed or even mentally and physically ill, you need to learn how to separate their legitimate issues from how they behave towards you so that you don't get hurt in the process. Otherwise, if you let them get away with their actions, they'll unconsciously start using their circumstances as a means to an end. The implication of that is that they'll leave everyone around them hurt, especially you, for tolerating their excesses. It's just best to let go sometimes. Deborah Reber, an American author, said, Letting go doesn't mean that you don't care about someone anymore. It is just realizing that the only person you really have control over is yourself. 4. Don't get personal with toxic people. Toxic behavior can involve gossiping. 
over sharing personal details or using personal information to provoke reactions. What they try to do is to make you feel guilty by engaging you in their gossip conversations or try to imply that you've done something wrong. Because you feel hurt, you try to defend yourself, which can lead to terrible happenings. What you should always remind yourself is that the problem is with them, not you. Toxic people do the same thing to other people, so if you don't take their actions personally, you'll experience this tremendous freedom and relief. Even when you feel directly attacked, remember, it is not about you, but them. So no need to react. Barry Seusskind, a relationship therapist, suggests be clear about how you are and aren't willing to engage. That way, you can avoid whatever trouble they are bringing your way. 5. Walk away When you've tried all and nothing seems to work, then maybe it's time to walk away from such relationship. Always remember, it's all about keeping yourself in a good state of mind and health. Having to deal with a lot of negativity around you can hinder that. So, let go. Karen Salmonson, a self-help author and designer, said, Sometimes it's better to end something and try to start something new than imprison yourself in hoping for the impossible. Also, according to Dalai Lama, a Buddha monk, let go of negative people. They only show up to share complaints, problems, disastrous stories, fear and judgment on others. If somebody is looking for a bean to throw all their trash into, make sure it's not in your mind. Dealing with toxic people isn't easy, and it takes a while to develop these techniques. They don't happen overnight, so you have to go easy on yourself. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.